All righty. So I'm quickly just going to introduce myself. My name is Morgan Miller. I am one of the admissions advisors here at Niagara University. I graduated from Niagara with um, my undergraduate in tourism event planning management. I had a communications minor and I also did a four plus one here. I also coach cheerleading here. So I just can't seem to get away from NU. I love the school. I love being here. So after we have everybody do their introductions, I will close this out with just sort of some admissions criteria and just sort of answer any questions. Um, but first off, I am going to pass the spotlight over to Sean. Sean is a Niagara grad and he'll introduce himself as well, but Sean also is an account manager for TikTok and he's going to share about how his time here and so is everybody else on the call their time here at Niagara really help them get to where they are or help them get to where they hope to be. All right, Sean, yeah. go ahead and take it away. Thanks, Morgan. I appreciate it. Yeah. Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Sean Lynch, um, class of 2013. Um, I was a communications major, fine art minor. Um, my time at NU was probably the best time of my life. <laughs> I loved it there. I'm still very passionate about NU. I actually just met up with um, so my friends from the class of 13 um, down in Columbus, Ohio, we all went to try to cheer on NU against Ohio State in basketball. Unfortunately, we lost, but uh, those friendships and those times are probably some of the things I cherish most. Um, as far as NU as a school, specifically the communications department, um, I don't think I'd be where I am professionally without that kind of foundation. Um, the professors, the kind of one-on-one -on -one attention that you get at Niagara really prepares you for the workplace and the working world. I think that, um, yeah, I don't really have uh, too many other like things to say about it other than that it was amazing. Um, and like I said, if anybody ever has any questions about NU, about what it's like at TikTok, about how NU can prepare you for the professional world, like feel free to contact me. I'm always happy to set aside five, 10, 15 minutes anytime anybody wants to chat. Awesome. Can you just explain a little bit to sort of what your role is at TikTok and yeah. if you had like any internships or anything at Niagara that really helped you sort of get to where you are? Yeah, totally. So my role at TikTok now is a account manager, um, kind of a hybrid role. So an account manager can mean a ton of different things. Right now, uh, my primary focus is on um, coming up with concepts and ideas for ad campaigns on TikTok. So for example, um, just today we got a signed IO for K Jewelers. So we're going to be doing a hashtag challenge um, surrounding New Year's Eve with K Jewelers. So now my job is to come up with an idea for that, pitch it to K Jewelers and their media agency, their creative agency, get everybody on board and then track all of the deliverables and make sure the campaign goes off without a hitch. So we're just under 30 days for that. So now it's kind of my time to shine, I guess you could say, and it's going to be a lot of work, but it's a lot of fun. I've been at TikTok for two years now. Uh, before that, I was an account manager at Pandora. Um, and before that, I was doing client services stuff at AMC Networks. So the network that has The Walking Dead and such. Um, in college, I interned at a bunch of different places. Um, and NU was awesome with that, getting credits for the internship and helping with the internships. I interned at a concert promotion company in downtown Buffalo. Did that a little bit, barely passionate about live music and thought maybe that would be my career field. I learned through the internship that it was not what I wanted to do professionally. So I still learned a lot from it. Um, and then I also interned and eventually got a job while still in college with um, ESPN doing production assistant work specifically for the Little League World Series over the summer. So NU I know has grown even more since I've been there with their, um, you know, like TV production type of field. It was still relatively new and the studio was still getting built out um, while well, I was there in 2013. But now I know it's really grown into um kind of its whole own thing within the communications department. And I know a lot of my friends, um, you know, from the class of 13, um, even before and after have gone on to a lot in uh, video production um, in front of or behind the camera as well. So kind of been a long ride for me, but yeah, it's been a great time and I have a new to thank for that. 
Awesome. Thank you so much. So if anybody does have any questions um, for Sean, you can always put them in the chat box. He does have to hop off and join another meeting, um, but I can always pass those along to him afterwards. And Sean, thank you again for always coming and joining us and really giving an insight of what your life was like here at NU and how it's helped get you where you are. No problem. Yeah, I just dropped my email in the chat. Um, if anybody ever wants to reach out, feel free. Uh, that's about it. Go Purple Eagles. Awesome. Thanks, Sean. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good night, everybody. You too. All right, Nathaniel, we're going to pass it on over to you. Okay. And um, if you could introduce yourself, let's say what grade you're in or what what level you're in in college, and then yeah. let's see, you know, how NU has been treating you so far as a student. Um, okay. Well, hi, everybody. My name is Nathaniel. I am a senior now. I'm a communications major, obviously, but I also have a history major on the side, so I've been doing two majors. I transferred here from SUNY Geneseo after my freshman year of college. Um, came here as a sophomore and I changed my majors from biology to what I currently am now. Uh, made a really big difference in my world. I started studying what I actually wanted to study and what I actually was passionate about, and it was like night and day. It was like a way better college experience. I started making better friends. I joined the esports club here at the university, was the treasurer of it for a year. I'm currently the president of WNIA Radio and Podcast, which if any of you guys got any questions about that sort of stuff. Um, I wasn't able to get the club up and running this semester, but I was working with two of our professors really closely and we put together our budget and stuff. So next spring, we're going to be having a fully made podcast studio and all that stuff um, going off. So that's pretty cool, especially for our communications majors who usually have like an interest in that sort of thing. Um, I won't be around to see that. I'm graduating in two weeks. I'm almost done, which is really crazy to think about. It doesn't feel like I've been coming to school here for two and a half years, but here I am. I'm wrapping things up. Um, I've been working in the admissions department with these people like Morgan. It's been a lot of fun. I've really enjoyed it. It's been a positive work experience. If you're looking for something to do, make a little money while you're here, I definitely would push for that. On um, Another thing I would just say is that once you get into the communications field here, um, if you do end up going to Niagara University, talk to your professors and talk to your classmates about what they're doing and like meet up on LinkedIn, um, start making connections as soon as you possibly can. I'm not sure everybody currently sits right now in terms of like where they are in terms of schooling. Like I don't know if you're still in high school and you're looking to come to Niagara or if you're transferring, things like that. But um, honestly, as soon as you get here and start the program, start looking for internships and start looking for connections. Um, they're gonna send you emails um, for internships in the communications field, they'll just send them to you. Dr. Sirianni is super good about that sort of stuff. He's one of the prof he's one of the chairs around here. Really good guy. I love working with him. Um, but he sends out a ton of emails for internships. Seriously, do internships. People will look at that stuff. It's super good for your resume. Um, and if you see things that come up and interest you, you know there'll be like virtual events, little meetings. People will come will, looking for to employ new people. Um, trying to get a hold of them and seeing what's what's up and what's available in the area when they're looking to hire. That's what I did. We had Apple, um, you know, Apple, like the phone company, they came to our school about uh, way back in September, they sent out a little email thing and I went to their little meeting and I talked to them for a good, you know, 30, 40 minutes. And they sent me an email three days later and said, hey, we have a retail position opening up at the Walton Galleria, do you want to interview? So I've started a job at Apple and that's what I'll be doing starting, um, I actually already started it, but I'll be doing it full time beginning once I graduate in the next two weeks. Um, and I'll hopefully make my way up the chain and find some way into like the bigger and better areas of the, of the market. But I, I feel like that's a decent place to start, you know, after, you know, getting your degree um, in, at university. So I'm definitely content with what Niagara Manager will do for me. If you guys have any like specific questions about the stuff that I do, like my clubs, um, the communications major itself, my experiences, um, you can always just, you know, speak up, say something in the chat. I'll put my contact information in the chat as well. So if you guys want to talk to me at all, I'll put that there. And I'm also, oh, I for, almost forgot, I'm running the, uh, I'm taking over the NU Instagram tomorrow. I'm going to be running um, all day. I'll be do, putting up stories and like different things about my experiences. I go through like my last day of undergrad. So if you're following the Niagara University Instagram, it's just Niagara University on Instagram. Um, you'll just see me posting things on there. So if you're interested in doing that and seeing what a normal day looks like for me, then that might be something you're worth looking into. But um, yeah, it's nice to meet everybody here. Um, hopefully I can be of some assistance if you need me. 
That's awesome. That is so exciting that you're getting to take over Instagram and that, you know, it's bittersweet that your time is coming to an end here, but I am so excited to see what the next steps hold for you and that you already have a job lined up for yourself at Apple. So that's very, very exciting. Thank you. Um, I'll probably be back, you know, I'll be coming back for events and stuff. I know Sarah doesn't want to let me go just yet. So I'll I'll probably come back for a few visits, but I'm excited to see what the future holds. Well, that's great. Thank you for sharing, Nathaniel. Thank you. Now we'll hand it over to Miss Maria. If you could, you know, introduce yourself, say where you are in your journey here at Niagara and tell us a little bit about how the university has helped you. Yeah, um, definitely. So I'm Maria. I'm a senior communications and media studies major. Um, I actually have a minor in the natural sciences, and the reason for that is because I came into Niagara as a bio major. I thought that bio was what I wanted to do, and then all of a sudden, I was like, nope, this isn't for me, Um, and I went into the academic exploration program, which is um, kind of like our undecided program, but it also helps you literally explore so many different majors, and from being in that program, I just knew the first communications class I took, I just knew that this was something I wanted to do. I love all of the communications professors. I don't think there is a class that I can say I didn't like in the communications department because it was all things I was interested in. Make They made it so much fun and they made you like want to come to class all the time. And a lot of it is just being creative. So you have a research paper. They're not going to say like write this research paper about topic A or topic B. It's like, you pick the topic and we'll work through it together. That's the class that I'm in right now. And it's just, the department in general has given me so many opportunities and has made me look differently than what I was previously looking at. When I was in science, I was always looking at what am I gonna do in the science field as far as internships? But then as when I switched to communications, it was a whole different field of opportunities. So with my connections and with the experience that I already had in the classroom last summer, I actually had an internship with the Rochester Red Wings baseball team and I worked in production and the interns, like we did everything. We were running the cameras for the broadcast. We were doing the fan cams with huge cameras on our shoulders going up in the stands. We were doing replay and cutting clips and I can't help but think that if I didn't take some of the classes at Niagara about learning how to do Final Cut Pro, learning how to use Photoshop, all of these ways of how to set up a camera, how to record good footage, these camera angles that we all learn in the classes that we take, it was so beneficial to go into the internship already with knowledge of these types of things, and then also to gain so much from it that they've already asked me back next summer to for like a better like paid position as like a full like a part-time camera operator so I can work game day operations which is just awesome and I'm I'm thankful for Niagara for giving me the opportunity. That is amazing congratulations thank you so so exciting awesome so Maria, obviously, and Nathaniel have great stories to tell. And now we'll hand it over to Serena and we'll see what she has to say about Niagara and about her time here. And then we will open it up for questions. All right. Thank you. So my name is Serena Leatherbarrow. Um, I'm a junior, almost a senior. My senior year starts in January. So that's very exciting. Um, I'm involved in quite a bit on campus like Nathaniel and Maria. Um, I'm an RA, we call them community advisors, but so I work in the residence halls. Um, I'm an orientation leader, I'm a tutor, and I'm also on the dance team. So I have a quite quite a bit going on. Um, but I would have to say that one, one of the most impactful things I've done at Niagara has definitely been internships. So like Nathaniel said, I can't stress in enough how important it is um, to get involved in those opportunities when you see something that interests you arise. Um, So for my internships, I worked with the Office of Career Services. I've been working with them since freshman year. So I would definitely stress, like, get involved with that office as soon as you can. um, So you can start seeking out opportunities and exploring your career interests. 
Um, but so for those internships, I worked at a nonprofit advertising agency. So I don't know if I said this, but I'm a marketing major and a communications minor. So I got to combine both of the fields I'm studying into one internship, which is really awesome. So with that, I did a lot of social media work, um, graphic design, video production. I planned some events and got to network with local businesses. Um, so that was a really great opportunity to be a part of and have on my resume. Um, I know it will definitely help me in the future. Um, and then with career services, I'm currently doing a mentorship program. So with that, you get matched with a business professional. So I got matched with the CEO of a really big company in Buffalo. And so him and I meet monthly and we sort of explore my interests and he's helping me apply for more internships and kind of just figure out what I want to do. So there's, you know, a lot to be a part of at Niagara. And if you're ready to start, you know, exploring your career interests that can happen, you know, as soon as you get here right from freshman year. So I would really encourage you to do so. Awesome. Thanks, Serena. You are so busy. All of you guys are super involved on campus. Um, it's just great to see everybody so inclusive and, you know, really being out there. So Jenna and Adam, do you guys have any questions for any of our amazing students that we have here? If you don't um, have access to your microphone or if you would rather, you can put your questions in the chat box. Um, while we're waiting to see if they would like to put any questions in, I will ask this and anyone can answer. What will you miss the most about Niagara once your time here is up? Because you guys are very close to the end. So I'm curious to see what your favorite thing is about being a student here and what you really will miss about life on the rig. I think what I'll miss the most is kind of just having everything in one place. So whether I want to work on my academics or go to dance practice and do something that's like more fun for me, I guess, or I want to plan for my career or I want to, you know, gain leadership experience as a CA, like that's all in one at Niagara. And I feel like as like a real world adult, like outside of college, I might not have the opportunity to dabble in so many areas. So it's really nice to be able to get involved in so many different fields and gain so much experience like at one point in my life. Awesome. Nathaniel or Maria, do you guys have any input too? I, I do. Um, it's kind of similar to Serena actually. Um, you know, when you're in college, you just have so much time and opportunity to like try so many different things. Um, and that's something I can say that I've done for both Geneseo and Niagara. I've been in a lot of different clubs, a lot of different organizations at both colleges. And although I didn't like every single one that I tried out, I don't regret trying any of them because it kind of taught me like what I like to do and what I don't like to do. And that was a big part of college because it's a lot more than just, you know, figuring out what you're going to do with your, your career and your professional path. It's also figuring out about, you know, who you are as a person, what kind of people do you mesh well with? Uh, what kind of people do you want to spend the rest of your life around? Um, and I know for me, just having everything kind of in this nice little convenient location, like here on campus, I'm never going to have something quite like this again. Even no matter how great my life gets, I'm never going to be able to return to like how things were as an undergrad student. I mean, I'm living, I live right across the hall from like two of my best friends I've ever made. And, um, you know, in, in a week and a half, I'm packing up my dorm and I'm never going to live here on campus again. It's just, it's done. It's over. Um, and it goes by so fast, you know, you, you feel like you have so much time when you get started and then it goes by like that because of how busy you are. Um, and so, yeah, just take your time, enjoy every second of it. Cause you, there's going to be moments when you feel stressed beyond belief. I, I believe me, I've been there. Uh, I've been there several times this semester, but you always look back on it and you're always like, dang, I kind of wish I had taken more time to like enjoy the moment while I still have the chance because now it's going to be ending and I can't go back. Awesome. Thanks, Nathaniel. Yeah. We'll just try and soak up every, every last minute. Maria, do you want to add anything? Yeah, so I guess one of the things that I'll definitely miss is this kind of the community aspect. I'm kind of realizing like you're, you can be involved in so many different things on campus, and it's such a different opportunity when you have your friends, like, living within a five-mile walking distance from you. You make all of these friends all over campus, and 
they're right next to you. Like Nathaniel said, like your neighbors could be your best friends and they could be people who you are friends with in the far future. And I think Niagara, because of that whole community aspect, because of the small class sizes, because of all the opportunities with clubs and organizations, I feel like I've made a solid group of friends that will be with me for quite a while. That's awesome. Well, thank you guys for all of your input. I think it's been great. Um, Jenna and Adam actually both put two questions in, so that's great. Jenna asked, what has been your favorite class in the major of communication? So if you guys each have a favorite class that you'd like to touch on, please do so. And then I'll also just say you guys can do both questions or both answers in one. Um, Adam also asked, when did you first feel like you found a home at NU? start. So um, like I said, I just have a minor in communications, which means I only take six classes. Um, so I'm sure I don't have as much experience to touch on as the other two do. Um, but my favorite class so far has been digital media production, just because that's sort of the reason why I took on the minor um, was to explore interests like photography and editing and video production. So that's really why I wanted to do the minor was to learn those different skills um, because I feel like they're really important to know with marketing. So that's been my favorite class so far. Um, and then when I first felt at home at Niagara, um, I feel like I'm like immediately when I stepped on campus, I actually at Niagara was like not on my radar at all. And my mom made me apply to the school, which is like kind of ironic that I ended up here and fell in love with it. Um, but my original campus tour, the first time I visited Niagara, it was just so different than any other school I had visited. And I don't, you know, really have much of an explanation to put to it other than I just like knew that that was where I wanted to be. So, you know, with the tour guides and just how the, the campus environment was as a whole, like it just felt right for me. Awesome. Anybody else? I'll go. I'll step up to the plate. Um, favorite class in the major? is incredibly difficult because there's a lot of really good ones um because there's different you know you got to take some courses that are required for the major but then you also get to take um you know some elective courses that are pretty interesting um one of the courses i took was screenwriting with um, dr siriani that was a really cool class i really enjoyed that way more than i thought i was going to um because i've always kind of had a creative bug for writing like short stories but i never really thought about writing scripts it never really appealed to me so basically in that in that um in that class you write the first half of a movie you write the first half of a movie and that's like your final project there is no final exam in that class you just write the first half of a movie and that's your final that's your final like main grade um and he, he works with you the entire semester like kind of teach like good plot devices versus bad plot devices what makes a movie a good movie to appear on cinema versus something that's good to appear on television. So you can kind of like target certain demographics. It's really interesting, especially for somebody like me who doesn't really watch a lot of movies. I just was thinking, okay, this will be like decently easy. It's with Dr. Siri and he'll be all right. I really enjoyed that class. Um, I think it was maybe like the sleeper hit for me, if if you will. I don't know if I'd call it my favorite class I took here, but it was definitely like the most like, I did not think I was going to like this and I ended up loving every second of it. So definitely take screenwriting of, um, Dr. Joseph Sirianni, if you get a chance to do so. Um, I first felt like I made a like a home here at NU when I joined esports in um, September of 2019 when I first transferred here. Um, like I said, at Geneseo, I tried a bunch of clubs and like met people, and I had friends back at that school, but I never really felt like I was like perfectly molded into anything over there. Um, when I got here and I joined esports, I joined the Smash Brothers team. And that just kind of let me like be myself. It was, you know, I had people who understood the game that I liked to play in my free time. And I never really had that at Geneseo. I had friends who enjoyed the game, but they didn't really understand it in depth. I got here and I joined esports, and suddenly I had six to seven other people who also understood the game to like the same degree that I understood it, if not a deeper degree. And it was great. I mean, I, I could play the game and like get better at it and enjoy having fun and improving with people who had a similar um, taste and interest as me. Um, that semester really kind of helped. You know, we had, a, we had a big smash tournament here in the Seton Lounge that, that semester. It was on the news, it was kind of cool. 
Um, I went to a tournament at UB with my one friend. Um, we went there together to go play. I, I feel like that was what kind of helped me break in. And then I started doing more things like the radio club and I joined the president's honor society. I started getting more involved with other things around campus. And, but I feel like a, that me joining esports and starting to play that game was kind of like, okay, I'm going to be comfortable here for the next two and a half years. I'm going to be able to make this a good place to be. Thanks, Nathaniel. Maria, do you want to add yours? Yeah. So um, kind of like Nathaniel said, it's kind of hard to choose a favorite class. Um, but if I had to pick one, it would be the first communication class that I ever took, which was studio production. In that class, it really... it really got you to work hands on with a lot of cameras. And basically we have kind of like a mock news studio in one of our um, classroom buildings. And it's just, it was so cool to learn all the different positions, be an anchor, be a camera operator, be behind the scenes as a tech director. And it was just such a cool opp opportunity um, in and of itself. And it really didn't feel like a stressful like classroom setting because it just felt like because of all the hands-on stuff, it was just fun the whole time. And Another, another class that is actually like just being added that I'm looking forward to next semester, we're doing a short filmmaking class, which I'm really looking forward to. And it's the, what I hear from it is like the premise of it is just kind of learning how to and developing a short film throughout the semester. So that one could potentially become my new favorite communications class, to be honest. Um, and then when Niagara first held the home, I mean, right when I walked on the campus, I knew that it, we're a smaller campus. We're all very connected. There's not many buildings around and they're not very far apart from each other. So you get this sense of community. And then when I started joining clubs that interest me, like that I was interested in, it was kind of like, then I found all these other people who are also interested in the same things. And then you start making these friendships, making these bonds. And it was, and that's when I truly felt at home. Awesome. Well, thank you guys all so much for your insight. I think that you three have had a very diverse sort of experience here, but all of you also have a very similar experience as well. And I think that speaks a lot to university and communications department as a whole as well, being a student here and everything. Um, if you guys wouldn't mind putting your information in the chat box, that would be awesome. Just in case Adam or Jenna want to reach out to you and Adam and Jenna I want to thank you guys for both coming and joining us tonight please feel free to reach out if you have any questions concerns if you'd like to get on campus for a visit and tour we would love to have you and thank you Maria Nathaniel and Serena for joining us tonight and really sharing your experiences with these students and then anybody else who watches the recording Thanks for coming out, guys. All right, Hopefully everybody. Hopefully we'll see you soon. Um, yes. If you got any questions, just, you know, reach out to one of us. We'll help you out. Awesome. Well, thanks for coming, guys. I hope you all have a great night, and we'll talk to you soon. Thank you for having me. Stay warm, everybody.